Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekachwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let Akim out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It's Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, with another video. And this is going to be another video uh, blowing the trumpet and giving the warning on the mark of the beast, man, which we can see is being pushed out rapidly. Everything is being set in order for this thing to be rolled out. They're getting the CBDCs prepped and ready to go. They already have the technology in place for you to use it in the stores. And, and, and we, we, we just see this thing moving forward, man. We see this thing moving forward, but you got the, you got these other camps out here playing playing around and bullshitting, still talking about the the, the market of beasts of sin, that it's an embargo, that is white women, that is uh Christianity, that is philosophies, that is what else? It's a spiritual mark, and that's not the and that's not the case, man, because we don't see a system being rolled out for you to buy or sell with any of those things I just named. But we do see a system being rolled out, a digital system being rolled out where you have to what? You see, you have to buy into that system and get that 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 device uh, uh, tagged up in you or pushed up in you for you to buy or sell with your CBDCs, man. Through your UBI, which is, which is what? Your universal basic income, which they're about to implement. You, you, you other camps out here fucking around and, and bullshitting, man. Stop playing. The the RFID the RFID CHIP is the MOTB man, and 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 that's how we know it is what we say it is. You see, because we can't even talk about it openly anymore as we could as we could three four five years ago, as you as the elders could 10, 15 years ago. You have to talk in codes and shit, using using acronyms. <laughs> you see? This is how we know that, that it is what it is. And also through faith, man. Because we see it. We see what they're doing. We see what they're rolling out. We see that they're devaluing the dollar. That they're putting things into place to get rid of the dollar and bring forth this, this digital currency, man. It's all there. So it is not something spiritual, man. It's physical. Is something that they're going to actually put inside of your person, your body. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. And this is what's happening. Each day is a day closer to this thing being made mandatory, because that's exactly what it's leading to. How do we know this? Because of prophecy. The Most High has told us that this was coming, man. And we see it being rolled out just like the Most High said it would be. This is what Esau is doing. He's a carnal man, so he's coming with a carnal mark, a physical mark. <laughs> it is not something spiritual. The spiritual mark is what you receive for sighing and crying on behalf of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah for all the abominations that go on in the midst of, as it tells you in Ezekiel 9 and 4. That's the spiritual mark. But this thing that Esau is coming with is something that they are going to put inside of you. Stop fucking playing, man. Because you got your congregation following, following behind you in that nonsense. And it's going to get a lot of them put to death. And that blood is going to be upon you. You are going to have to answer to your Howard Shah for, for why you didn't push the right doctrine when you knew what it was. You see, and like the elders been saying, you got these guys trying to backtrack. Oh, we we now nah, they might add a, a chip in there. They might add this. That's exactly what they're gonna do. You guys are full of shit, man. 
Because the man of Great Millstone, beginning with the elder Apostle Hart, have been saying this for decades, man, and it's right around the corner. It's right around the corner, man. They have been teaching this. And we've been knowing it was coming. And now we see it, we, we're seeing it come to fruition, man. So let's go into we're gonna go into it. So this video is to prove that this is not something spiritual, that this is something physical, man. And that's that's all it's gonna be. I'm gonna go into the breakdown. You see? We're gonna break it down. We're gonna go, we're gonna go through the words to show it to show you it's gonna be something physical. It is not something spiritual. It is not a spiritual mark, man. It is not a spiritual mark. It is not a spiritual mark. This is something that they're going to put in you. So Revelation 13, because when has Esau ever been spiritual? Come on, man. Let's be for real. When has Esau Edom ever been spiritual? It's not a spiritual bone in his body. Everything he, he does is on a carnal level, man. Even this NW, uh, this this New World Order, this Fourth Industrial Revolution that he's trying to bring forth, it's all it's all carnal, man. So why in the hell would he give you a spiritual mark when when this man's this 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 man's natural nature, <laughs> natural nature is what carnality, man? Revelation thirteen and sixteen says what, and he calls of all, he calls of all. He's going to force this upon the world. It's going to be mandated for everyone, both small, you see, of little importance, and great, those of high stature. Both uh, rich, those with uh, a lot of wealth, a lot of money, a lot of resources, and poor, those with no resources. Free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. In your right hand or anywhere in your body, you see, one form of it is going to be a, is going to be the RFID CHIP. That's one form of it. And the thing is, when you go back a few years, you see, and even even now, so this the, 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 the articles are coming out. How about about how uh, implantable CHIPs are, is the new wave, basically. And the, and the, and the, and, the, and the technology, the infrastructure is already set up. They already got the fucking tap to pay. What do you think that is for? They got the tap to pay in all the stores. They got the tap to pay at the fucking gas pumps. Hell, you can even get devices to plug into your phone and you can tap to pay doing that. They have been rolling this out, man. This is what they're about to force upon the world. That RFID CHIP and also the Neuralink. Or any type of brain computer interface, because it's not just the Neuralink, it's other ones out there. But all of them, you see? Any type of brain computer interface, <laughs> anything they're trying to put into your brain, you see? <laughs> is the MOTB, man. You see? Now let's go into this word mark. And we're gonna show you that it's something physical, man. So the word for mark goes into what? Karagma in the Greek. Strong's G, 5480. Charagma. Charagma. Karagma, right? It says a stamp and imprinted mark. Something physical. That is something physical. <laughs> now, this definition uh, that is off, it says what? Of a mark... Stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the anti-Mashiach. That's all because we know and understand that anti-Messiah, anti-Mashiach is everyone who's against the will of the Most High God, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. So that includes two-thirds of Israel, two-thirds of you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are anti-Messiahs, right along with the rest of the heathen nations. Why? It's because you don't want the will of the Most High to be done on the earth. You see? You don't sell, you, you don't accept the one hundred percent truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which makes you what an antichrist or anti mashiach Not just it's not just one man; it's everybody who's against the will of the Most High God Yahweh. Yahweh's will being done on earth as it is in heaven. If you're in that spirit of rebelling against what we're telling you, 
You see, in this doctrine that we come with, you are anti-Mashiach. So that's why that definition is off. Now, uh, definition B, it says what? The mark branded upon horses. When you brand the horse, is that not physical? It is. This is why it's so important to go into these words because it, it lets you know, it gives you a deeper understanding of what you're reading. A mark branded upon horses. Why? Why? <laughs> Still to this day, do ranchers brand their cattle? It's to show ownership of that cattle. Because like the old cattle brands, you will have what? Oh, perfect example. Hey, pertaining to our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If your ass is on the plantation and you ran away and they caught you, what would they do when you when they bring when, when they bring you back? They would take that hot ass branding iron, that take that branding iron, put it over that fire till it got fucking glowing, glowing red hot, and they would brand an R on you. To show that what? You were a slave, that you belonged to someone. To show ownership over you. It's the same thing with cattle, man. It's the same thing with this RFID, CHIP, and this Neuralink. It's to show who you belong to. And if any of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans go and get this device put up in your body, you have pledged your allegiance unto the so-called white man, Esau Edom, and you, and, you, and you are basically telling the almighty God, Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that what? That your God is the so-called white man. That's what you say, you see, without even saying it, when you go and get this device put up in you. You worship the so-called white man. I need his device in me so I can continue to live. He's going to give me life and allow me to continue to live and move freely in his society. I, but I got to have this device. He's doing this to show ownership over you, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? Now, when we go deeper into the word, when we go deeper into it, the root word of karagma is what? Strong's G, 5482, charaks. Charaks. So the word it's Karax. It goes into a pale steak of palisade, showing you once again that this is something that is what? Physical. This is something that is physical. Now, to, to show you that it's something physical, I'm going to pull this word for steak. We're going to look this word up. Uh, where we at? Uh, probably gonna have to look it up in Google. Yo, <coughs> so lucky. God, like a bunch of meals, Let's look it up in Google. So we're gonna look it up in Google. Shit. Copy. Take it to Google. Take it to Google, paste, go into the definition for word, steak, right? Now, when you go into the origin of this word, because that's what I wanted. I wanted the origin of it. So when you go into the origin of the word steak, oh man, where is it? There it is. So origin. West Germanic origin, Old English, Dutch, English, you see. Old English, the arc of West Germanic origin related to Dutch, sta, uh, oh, staka, so, so like staka, staka, also to stick to. So this is what this word goes back to, this word for stake that we just pulled out of the word karaks. You see, talking about what? The karagma, which is the mark, right? Now, you go into this word stick to. This word stick to goes into what? To show you with something physical, push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. This is what that word stake takes you to. Showing you that it's something physical. And that's what every definition is. You see? It's all something physical. Of a pointed object to be be or remain fixed with its pointed end embedded in something. 
fix something or on a point or pointed object, stab or pierce with a sharp object. And this is what they're planning to do unto the entire population of the earth, man, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Once again, this is this is showing that is what? Something physical, man. It is something physical. This is not something spiritual that Esau is coming with. It's something that he's going to physically try to put into inside your body. And, and the words let you know what it is. <laughs> the words let you know what it is. Definition two. Insert thrust or push. What? That apparatus that they're going to use <laughs> to put that device inside of your body. You see? That's what it is, man. It's something physical. It is something physical, man. Now, we're going to go back and we're going to come back to this word and we're going to go to the next uh, the next root word, right? So, it says what? He calls of all, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. He's going to force this upon everyone. You're going to have to, you're going to need this to function in this new society that they're about to uh, roll out, man. Now it goes on to say what? Verse 16. I'll slide here. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now you have to explain to me if it's a spiritual mark. Tell me how you how you buy and sell with the spiritual mark. If the, if the MOTB is sin, you have to show me a system that's being set up and prepared for us to buy with sin. If, if the mark of the beast is so-called white women, you have to show me a system that's being set up for us to go into the store and purchase things with so-called white women. If it's an embargo, you have to show me a uh, system that's being set up for us to, to print. That doesn't even make no sense. <laughs> you see? If it is what you other camp say it is, you have to show us a system being rolled out and prepared. You see, for us to buy and sell with these things that you say it is, and you cannot do it. Why? Because the things that you're saying the MOTB is, is not that. It's what the man of Great Millstone, beginning with the Elder Apostle Har is saying, man. It is the MOT, the, the RFID CHIP. You see that? And that no man might buy or sell. So basically, you're gonna, if you don't have, if you don't get this device, you see. You're gonna be you're gonna be blacklisted, man. You're gonna be an outcast from society. Now to prove that, to prove, you see, hold up. Seventeen, it says what, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you can't buy or sell unless you have this mark, which goes into what? Showing you some physical karagma, which goes into what? The karax. Now it goes into what? Grapho. Now what is grapho? Strong's G, 1125. Grafo. Grafo. Grafo, right? Now it says what? To write with the reference to the form of the letters, to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment paper, or other material. So this is talking about recorded information. To write with the reference to the contents of the writing, to express in written characters, to commit to writing things not to be forgotten. Write down, record. What is that? It's talking about data being stored upon this physical RFID CHIP. And this is why you won't be able to buy or sell in this new society that they're rolling out. Why? Because all your information is going to be stored upon this CHIP. From your from your, your banking information, where, the, where it's going to hold your, C, uh, your, your digital wallet, your C, so, you, so, you, so you can have your CBDCs, whether that be, your, it's going to have your personal identification tracking number on there, because each, each uh, chip has this in it, so what? It can't be, it can't be counterfeited, it's just like a fucking uh, social security number. Each CHIP has its own personal number assigned to each chip. So they can tell who's who. And if you don't have this device up in you, you won't be able to buy or sell. You know why? Because physical money is going to be phased out. And the only thing you're going to be able to use is the CBDCs. But only if you have this device. You see? And that and that money, that that that, that uh, those CBDCs are going to be stored upon your digital wallet, which is going to be upon this CHIP, man. It's all right here. It's all right here. It's all right here. Showing you that it's something physical. 
It is not a spiritual mark, man. So going back, it says what? Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So the only ones who are going to be able to function in society are the ones who take this device, man. Are the ones who go along with this new society and this new system that they're going to roll out. That they're preparing to roll out. That's the only way you're going to be able to function in society and move as you want to move. So, uh, somewhat. And you know how we know this? Because that's exactly what they did when the bit pee popped. You had to have your mask on. You had to have your juice, so you can't come into this establishment. That was a that was a, a, a what do you call it a, a prequel to what they're coming with next, man. That was just a trial run, and 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 the majority of you people folded. And you're gonna do the same thing when this thing is made mandatory, man. Watch, a lot of you Israelites out here playing games and fucking around. You are going to fold when this thing is put into your face, man. You see, because you didn't take it serious. You, you was up here playing games, you see, being proud instead of admitting that the, the, the men of Great Millstone were right, beginning with our other apostle heart, man. You're going to find out. Now, verse 18 says what? Here is wisdom. Let him to count the number of the beasts. Yeah, we're going to go, go into this word as well. Let him, here is wisdom. Let him to, let him to have understanding count the number of the beasts. For it is the number of a man. You see, and the man is pushing this forth. The Edomites, beginning with the elites. What you think that shit at Davos was all about? The World Economic Forum. They're talking about rolling this thing out, man. You see? And that's why you see all these systems being put in place. All these laws and legislations being rolled out. Why? It's because they're getting prepared to unleash this upon the people. And what is his number? And his number is 603 scoring 6. 666. This is why you see this damn number so much in society, man. Because this is who's ruling the earth. The wicked Edomites, man. You see? Now, when you go into this word 666 in the Greek, which is what? Chai Sai Stigma. And you see how they changed that, changed that around because it didn't used to look like that before. And they're doing this because what? They're trying to hide the truth. But when you find it, what was the word stigma at? Uh, Cause it used to be right here where you can just snatch it and, and, and look it up, <laughs> but it's down here somewhere. Let me see. There it is, stigma. Gonna copy this and we're gonna take this right back to uh, we'll take this to Google to look it up. Stigma definition. The word for stigma goes into what? We're gonna go to the origin of the word. It's a Greek word, right? It says what? Late 16th century, denoting a mark made by pricking or branding, which is what? Something physical. Physical. It's something physical. It's not something spiritual. It says what? Via Latin from Greek stigma, a mark made by a pointed instrument. The pointed instrument is going to be what? The apparatus they're going to use to put this device into your body. And it says what? Related to stick one. But that's Esau trying to throw you off because when you go to stick one, it doesn't match up to what's being said in the in the definition of a, a, a stigma. This is going into wood. A thin piece of wood falling. Nah, 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 nah. You have to scroll down and it leads you right back to what? Stick two. Push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. And that's the same definition that we got from what? When we went to that word stake from, from, from Karox, from Karagma from Mark is something physical. <clears throat> you see? It is something physical, man. Point blank period. That This is what it is. And all the words let us know, man. If you have the Holy Spirit, you can see it. And if you don't, oh well. But this is, this is the same word that we went to when we went from Mark to Karagma, to Karax, went to stake, went to stake, went to the uh, the origin of stake. It led us to stake, the, to stick to, and stigma leads us to the same word, stick to. And to prove that, when you go down here to the origin of stick to, it says what? Of old English, stition, 
of Germanic origin related to German stick and embroider from the Indo-European route shared by Greek Stizian to prick with what? The apparatus they're going to use to put this up under your skin. Stigma. A mark. What? Karagma. <laughs> you see that? And Latin instigare, spur on. Early senses included pierce with what? The apparatus they're going to use to put that device into your body, whether that be your forehead or in your hand or your right hand or your left hand. It says what? And remain fixed by its embedded pointed end. That's what it is, man. Something physical. And all the words show us this through the Holy Spirit, man. <laughs> now, since we've broken it all the way down for you, we're going to get the judgment written for any of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that receive this device in you after you have received this warning from the men of the Lord, man, because we have been blowing the trumpet on this. Now, if you follow these other camps, these other groups who are telling that the MOTB is something other than what it is, that's on you because we have made countless videos. Each brother has made countless videos on this subject, man. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Beginning with our elders, you see, our apostles and our elders, man. Our elder apostles, how you want, how you want to say it, whatever. You see, our elders have been making videos on, on, on this on the same topic for decades, and we have come and pick up the mantle, and we've been doing the same thing. So there will be no excuse. When this thing is made mandatory, because what? You have been warned by the men of the Lord. Now, you want to follow these groups because you think they're cute, they garments, or whatever whatever it is, that's on you. You see? And all you other camps who are leading these people astray, that blood is going to be on you. And the Most High is going to punish you for that, man. Now, Revelation 14. Now, this is the judgment written. You see? And as we read through this, you're going to see that there is no repenting from receiving this device in your body. Once you get it, ain't no going back. Ain't no great area with it, man. You're either going to stand firm with Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, or you're going to bend the knee to Esau. Ain't no in-between. Ain't no, oh, I'm going to get it then when I see Yahweh Shah coming, I'm going to take it out. Hell nah. You made your choice already. You made your choice already. Ain't no, ain't no going back. And, and, the, and the prophecy tells us this. Revelation 14 and 9 says what? And the third angel followed them, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, now what's the beast? The beast is the system that we live in, ran by Esau Edom. You see? This system of what that's comprised of what? Babylon, which is America, NATO, and the EU. This is the beast. You see? And his image. What is his image? Because they're all separate. His image is what? His way of his wicked way of life that's based upon the ancient Roman Empire. From their, their wicked doctrines and philosophies, from their wicked ass law system, from their wicked ass medical system. This whole way of life that Esau has has uplifted and exalted as uh, as if it's the right way. That's his image. You see, from the rainbow flag gene to the pedophilia to the GMOs, everything, all this 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 whole Wicked ass setup here, you see? This whole wicked ass way of life, that's the image. And receive his mark, which we just broke it down, what it is. The RFID, CHIP, and that Neuralink, man. In his forehead or in his hand. So if you go along with anything in his system, this is your judgment. Verse 10. <laughs> the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. This is the judgment written if you go along with anything that has anything to do with Esau, man. You see? If you're still in this place about some damn God bless America, hoping that your house shall don't come back for another 50 years, your ass is going to be destroyed. Once again, if you're against the will of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah being done on this earth, as it is in heaven, you are going to be destroyed, man. And if you get that device up in you, you are going to be melted with fire and brimstone in the form of what? 200 million thermonuclear warheads raining down upon this place when Russia and these other heathen nations that have these thermonuclear capabilities push those buttons, man. Your ass is going to be left here to get burned up in that fire with the, with the rest of America and everybody else in it. This is what's coming, man. So all you guys who are playing games on, on what this really is, 
You, you're going to have a lot of blood on your hands, man. When your congregation start lining up to get this because you didn't warn them as the most I told you to. Because you wanted to be popular. You see? And like the and like the brothers have been saying, a lot of you niggas and took the bag, man. You see? A lot of you have took the bag. <laughs> Verse 11 says what? And the smoke of their torment is sent of up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. There it is. There it is. You see? You have no rest day nor night because what? You're going to be tormented in that fire and brimstone, man. For what? Going along with this wicked ass system? Want to be a part of this way of life? And, and to, continue your, to continue your wicked ass existence in this place, you're going to get that device up in you so you can what? Buy and sell and continue on. Hey, hey continue on in this place. Uh, uh, in, in, in some uh, somewhat normal fashion. You're going to be burned the fuck up, man. Hey, but for the true believers, we don't have to worry about this, man. Lord willing, we be a part of the number because what does it tell us? Revelation 3 and 10. What did the Lord Yahweh Shai say to us, man? We ain't got to worry about this. Revelation 3 and 10 says what? Because this is coming. And it's coming fast, man. It'll be here before you know it. So Revelation 3 and 10, this is the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. It says what? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And it's coming fast, man. We see these motherfuckers rolling this thing out hey, at a steady rate. It'll be here before you know it. But if we continue to keep that faith in Yahweh Shah, he said he's going to keep us from this, man. So we won't have to be in the need of Esau. We don't have to worry how, how we're going to eat, or how we're going to be clothed, or how we're going to have shelter, or how we're going to have water. Because the Most High is going to supply that for us in that day. Just as he's, he's, he's supplying it for us now. How do you think you're eating now? How do you think you have a roof over your head now? How do you think you have clothes on your back now? You see? The most high supplies us with all these things. How much more when we when we say when we tell Esau, fuck him, keep your chip. You see, we serve you how about Shemi Shah. How much more in that day, man? The most high is going to be with us, man. We have nothing to fear. Fuck Esau. Fuck his new world order. You see? And fuck everybody else who goes along with this madness, man. We are going to stand with Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And Lord willing, the Most High keeps me and all you Akim and you Akwathim in that same spirit when this thing goes down because it's coming. All you other guys who are fucking around and bullshitting and playing, you see, and lying to your congregation. If, if you don't repent, may the Most High destroy you and your household, man. Point blank, period. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to glory to. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, a double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Baba.